Hi guys, my name is Numi. Hey beautiful people, my name is Numi Chen Wing and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, so today's video is a Q&A for y'all to get to know me, not model Naomi, Naomi Naomi. So y'all are gonna know where I'm from, how old I am, because a lot of y'all don't know how old I am, and just me before I became a model, so stick around. Okay, so the first question is where I'm from. I was born and raised in Trinidad and Tobago. It's a dual Caribbean island close to Venezuela. It has beautiful people, beautiful beaches, and amazing food, because we know our food is great. Caribbean people, y'all know what I'm talking about. All right. Um, the next question is how old I am. I am 21 years old. I just turned 21 this year in January. I'll take the birthday wishes now. I'll take them. <laughs> The next question is, where did I go to school? I went to Providence Girls Catholic School in Belmont in Trinidad. I studied physics, IT, art, Spanish, literature, English, math, and ad math, which I passed by like that much. We, I was good at math, but not ad math, okay? Don't come for me. <laughs> the next question is, what got you into modeling? I didn't think I was gonna be a model because I only started modeling when girls suggested that I become a model when I was 15 in school because I was one of the taller girls in my class. And I went on Facebook looking for a model agency in Trinidad and I saw um, CBI. And I asked my mom because, you know, you have to ask your mom. And she allowed me to go and do their workshop and from there everything kind of kicked off my career because I got signed to IMG when I was 16 only a couple months after winning their competition and it kind of just took its own a life of its own actually and now we're here so the next question is what do I do in my spare time um usually when I have time off or when I'm not working I try to catch up on sleep because um, work tends to take a lot of energy. I also do my paintings, which I will show right here. I read, I draw, I watch anime, I play Animal Crossing, and I know, I know the comments are coming. I know it's a baby game, but I'm a baby, leave me alone. All right, but yeah, those are just some of the things I do in my spare time. Okay, so the next question is cats or dogs? I actually love both animals. I don't really have a preference of either or. I mean, I can have both. But I also love turtles. Like, why is that not a question? You know, who doesn't love turtles? So it's amazing. I have a turtle teddy. Here he is. I got him in Milan. He's so cute. He's dopey looking, but he's so cute. This one says, do you have siblings? Yes, I do. I have an older brother who specifically told me that he's going to dislike this video when I post. I don't know how that's supposed to make me feel, but thanks. And I have a younger brother as well, a younger half brother, and he's back in, both of them are back in Trinidad. So, yeah. This one says, the first time you travel on your own and how old were you? I was 18 years old. Before that, my mom was traveling with me because I was underage and she was my chaperone at the time. And she traveled with me to Paris, London, and Milan. And she stayed with me as well while I was in these countries for months. And yeah. But the first time I traveled on my own was to New York. And that was the first time I was doing the full Fashion Week circuit. So it was New York, London, Milan, and Paris. And that was the first time I saw that much snow and I got sick in New York as well. <laughs> so it wasn't like the best experience in New York, but it was a learning experience because I realized that I do not like snow or being cold. As I grew up in a tropical climate, so yes. <laughs> All right, this one says, do you have any other job? Or source of income apart from modeling no actually I know some models do have a part-time job but I am working full-time as a model I've been working full-time as a model for almost four years now so yeah no I don't have another source of income okay the next question is what is your favorite food okay let me tell you one thing 
I am a foodie. I love food so much. I'm always eating. People don't think I eat a lot, but I'm always eating. I, don't, I may not eat like big portions, but I eat multiple times, if that makes sense. And my favorite food is some home cooked food from Trinidad. I love pilau, roti, bacon shark, doubles. Who don't like doubles? If you don't like, y'all should try doubles or try and make it on your own because I actually tried making it by myself and it was very easy. But yeah, I love any food from the Caribbean or even African food because it's very close and similar in how it's cooked and it tastes amazing. Oh my god. But yes, I love food. Okay, so this question says, what superpower would you like to have? I would like to fly because being a model, you fly a lot and then seeing those prices of those flights, it's just like, but if I can fly, I don't have to pay for a flight, you know? There may be restrictions, but I feel like you should get like a flying passport and you should get the visas to fly everywhere. <laughs> I feel like that would be really cool. Can I be, can I be a superhero? What's he supposed to superhero? Um, never mind. Okay, the next question is, what's the longest you've been away from home? This is actually the longest I've been away from home because I usually stay away maybe two, three months working and then I go home because I'm in New York. It's like a five hour flight to Trinidad, so it's easy to go home. But since the pandemic and since being stuck in Italy, this is the longest I've been away from home. It's been five months, going on six months now. I am very homesick but i will be returning home very soon so fingers crossed we're, we're almost there okay, so this one says do you prefer trinidad new york or europe new york has been growing on me slowly but surely but i would not want to stay there long term um europe europe is a nice place to stay but i still prefer living in trinidad because my entire family is there i don't have any family in Europe or New York so I would rather be close to my family unless I can bring them with me then Trinidad is my answer um, this one says what makes you feel fulfilled well right now this doing YouTube being creative again um, because as I'm not at home I don't have my art supplies with me so I can't um, express my creativity in that way so doing YouTube and like going to edit this video and just learning new things with YouTube it's making me feel very happy and I'm very excited to create new things for my platform and for my brand and I hope you guys stick around for the adventures because this is a calm pull me I'm not like this. Ask anyone. I'm not like this. <laughs> the next one is best achievement. Best achievement would be walking with 31 top shows during the Fashion Week circuit. That is 31 shows in four cities. That was a challenge. I'm not even gonna lie. That was very challenging mentally because it was so much to endure and it was so much like waking up early, not getting enough sleep, not eating on time. But it was worth it because it was 31 top shows and that was my best season ever. And I hope for more seasons like that and I hope I can achieve way higher than that. We're looking for a whole cover now, guys. We're on the way to that. <laughs> so this next question is, do you watch anime? Is, is, that, is that even a question? Is that even a question? Of course I watch anime. Y'all don't watch anime like, why? Why are you hating on anime watches though? I see your hating. But yes, I do watch anime. I have watched, well, my favorite animes have been uh, One Punch Man, My Hero Academia, and Dr. Stone. I did watch Hunter x Hunter, and I've just started Death Note. I'm on like episode three, but I will be finishing that very soon. But right now, I'm not watching anime, and don't talk to me this. I'm not watching anime right now because I'm hooked on um, Criminal Minds. <laughs> and I know, yes, I've been watching all the old seasons and it's been good. I love, I love crime investigation shows, okay? So this question is, uh, is your profession challenging? 
Yes, it is. I feel like every career you choose has its challenges. And just like any other job, modeling is a career and it, it, have, it comes with its challenges. And um, people tend to say that modeling is easy and I don't like that narrative because it kind of takes away from all the hard work that the entire crew puts in for a project and it just be like oh that shot looks so easy or that looks so easy to do I can do it and I'm not saying you can't do it it's just like don't take that away from people because everyone puts in so much to get the final shot to get this amazing project done and the last thing they want is for people to think oh that looks so easy you, you, you know but yeah but I still love my job um I'm very blessed to still be working in a pandemic so despite the challenges I am willing to grow in this industry so the next question is have you ever met someone famous yes and here's a funny story to go with that I actually met David Beckham and all the Beckham children by accident without fully realizing who they were until they left so I went to Victoria Beckham for a fitting and I was like I was jet lagged I was tired I like nothing was making sense and I think that was like my last fitting for the day like this little kid comes out and starts talking to me he's like oh I like your shoes I'm like thanks he's like I got those in black and I'm like really cool and then the little girl comes out and she starts talking to me too and then all of them come out and then David Beckham comes out and he's like hey how are you doing I'm like I'm good he's like you tired I'm like yeah I just flew in and then they like we chat a bit and then they leave but I didn't realize who they were until until also it clicked in my brain I'm like hold up was that David Beckham I'm like that wasn't David Beckham I had to ask someone I'm like that was David Beckham they're like yeah I'm like shit I look crusty but okay <laughs> Um, uh, that was very, very strange experience for me. Okay, so the next question is, places you like to visit? Ooh, anywhere that there's a beach. So, I actually have this bucket list that I want to visit every Caribbean island. And so far I've visited uh, Jamaica, Grenada, and Barbados. I really want to visit St. Lucia when things open back up. But I also want to go to Japan. I want to go to Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii. I don't want to butcher the name, so I'm just not gonna say it again. And uh, Bora Bora, actually. Anywhere there's water and the beach, I'm there. What book are you currently reading? Y'all know I got back into my books and my readings. I have like six or seven books I bought while I was here. But I. I'm reading The Extinction Trials. This is the last book in the series, but I became obsessed with it from the first book. The first book was so good. I read that in like a week, which isn't like the fastest time I've read a book because I've read a book in like a day already, but I was working that week. But this series is so good. I know it's fiction. I know it's kind of childish, but I like it. So you should, you should check it out. Okay, this one says, pineapple on pizza yes and if you think no you can find me what's good yeah I like pineapple on pizza okay okay that's the end of our Q&A for today so thank you all who sent in questions and the ones I didn't get to do today we'll do it in a later video but thank you for watching stick around for more amazing content and to see this amazing face just say you don't like this face if you don't like this face you shouldn't be here but yeah thank you for watching my video and see you guys in the next one